let's do something psycho things <laughs> right now it was my try to do some acting like billboard everything this way yes it is uh, some kind of funny and let's do again to maybe one phrase need to catch it from his and I will repeat it. By the way, I'm a Russian man who learns English through my experiences. And uh, hello there, it is me, Igor. And I'm uh, from St. Petersburg. Yes, and today we're gonna learn new vocabulary from Bill Burr's story about psycho robots. Let's do this together. All together. All together. Right now. I don't know. I get my act together, man. I'm really... I don't know, I get my act together, man. I don't know. I get my act together, man. I'm really, uh, I'm really at a critical point in my life, you know? I am, I'm, I'm serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I, I've realized this about myself. Like, you know, I'm not married, you know? And I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know- He's I, not married? Is he- This about myself. Like, you know, I'm not married. But how, how older he was on this video? Because, uh, one moment, it, his face it looks... By the way, I need to Google his biography. Bill Burr, sorry for it. Bill Burr, he's 51 years old right now. And maybe it was uh, 12, 20 years ago, 30 years. Wow, jeez. I'm psycho too. You know? Oh, she's sweet body psycho, a little bit psycho. And now she's screaming, I'm a mama. My mind. And I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I gotta pick a street. <laughs> it is uh, like uh, he should pick uh, d direction of life, yes? I'm, I'm gonna get married, you know? Or I'm just gonna be in that creepy old guy hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. <laughs> It is two ways, or you are on bar, or you are married. Good joke. No, seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, I, th I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. This is a critical point when you stay single too long, and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, you know, don't, don't, don't say that to her. Yeah, fuck it, say it, see what happens. I don't say it that time. Yeah, fuck it, say it. Dude, and once you cross that line, this the, the, the evil that just, just opens up, it's just, you know... I understand it correct, uh, maybe in my brain, I understand this, not his words, I understand his position right now, his uh, feelings, because uh, I'm, lon I'm loner, loner, and uh, I do this <laughs> since I started my YouTube channel <laughs> one year ago and seven months ago eight nine nine months ten ten months ago one and ten wow so many and uh, it is funny and uh, i don't have friends i don't have girls yes i had sex but uh, i don't have uh, girls and uh, also it is funny to speak with myself sometimes and uh, with my audience and my audience it is my computer and my webcam and uh, my phone and my friends are computer and phone and uh, this kind of things I have many acquaintances but I don't have friends and uh, this situation when you speak with uh, somebody else it is so nice because I can speak like this too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. I don't know. You know what? I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman here. Because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know. I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up. They have an agenda. And so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries. And every day they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Right? He speaks about uh, women again that uh, women are psycho robots or what wake up they have an agenda just every day they, they just they just got to come at you they just wake up they have an agenda and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries and every day they just keep fucking just keep coming at you right you got to deal with that every single day hey honey and you literally you know 
Every day. That every single day. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Nice. Hey, this nice pretending like hey, I'm somebody else. And you literally, you know, every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch. You know, every day, just... Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. Okay, again. Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out. So one day, you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? <laughs> nice. It was like, like you're uh, doing your own things, but in some moment, a uh, girl is coming to you and uh, you're, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. oh yes, hello. Uh, like this way. Interesting, funny. In some way. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn how to, how to pick my battles with my girl, you know? It's what I am, you know? I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days, they, they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they want to do. Like, hey, let's go get a picnic. We'll have a picnic. You bring the good bank and you fucking... Okay, can, can I pretend to... I can do this. I can do this. No, again. Dun, 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 dun. Oh Jesus, it's so funny. <laughs> Need to. S One moment. Oh, funny, it's so awkward. Ah. <laughs> you maybe wish me right now. Sorry if you're Russian, maybe or maybe somebody else. But for you, it is so Jesus face palm, double face palm, or triple if you have your boyfriend or girlfriend, and. Uh, I can speak like this. Uh, funny. I want to learn. I want to learn his language. Uh, I always uh, like to learn you. Yes. I always like to learn. And oh, Jesus Christ. I always learn. <laughs> Why do I feel shame right now? Why? Nobody is watching on me. Nobody. Nobody is here in this room. Why do I feel shame? Because <laughs> maybe I... Okay, need to be right now, right here in this place and I am in present. Nobody cares what will I say, what I will say and how will I, how I will act. You move fast when you don't pay attention on judgment. I like to learn English. Oh, no. I like to learn English. Need to stay. I like to learn English. Hello. Oh, what the hell? Nice sound. Okay, let's continue. Good they want to do. Like, hey, let's go get a picnic. We have a picnic. You bring the good bank and you fucking. <laughs> Then other days, you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta just create this perimeter or something for them to bounce Stop. off. Like, you just, you just send that psycho energy in another direction. Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. And they start coming back. <laughs> Bouncing like a from a wall. See my parents! No, they're relentless. They never stop. And there's no reason for him to stop. You know why? Because you can't hit him. That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bomb guy, hey, go to the fucking gym. Slap his protein shake out of his hey, go fuck yourself, right? But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face, totally acceptable, right? But with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of like a suplex, and they'll just What is suplex? 
need to google it suplex uh, is an offensive move used in both professional oh jesus christ at least it... whoa 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 dude they can do stuff worthy of like a suplex and they'll just stand right next to it they don't even have the decency to run away they like light your clothes on fire they're like ta-da i did that shit Uh, okay, let's. Or uh, how to th how to say it like this? Oh yeah, and I was so proud of my work. I stuck around to see your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to help. Proud of my work. I stuck around to see your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name. Susan did this shit! <laughs> You're sitting like, now? Can I at least put her in a headlock? Give her a couple of... <laughs> now, I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know? Just every once in a while. <laughs> Just haul off. Should do it to each other, you know? Just every once in a while. Should do it to each other. <laughs> Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> no, I know, yeah, I know, it hurts. You know, you can't feel your nose, your ears are ringing, but I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head. And it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed, but at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking, like, you know, I was kind of being a dick back there, you know? <laughs> when I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? And you, you, you'd like make that adjustment. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. I can't believe he's just gonna say this kind of thing. <laughs> Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day a few years ago. On Valentine. <laughs> Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day a few years ago. Valentine's Day, a few years ago. Yeah, you wanna hear this story? This is a great one. This is how much of a dick I am, that I can actually tell a girl I love her, give her a card, and somehow at the end of the night, she still blasted me in the head, you know? <laughs> I can't even remember what happened. All I know is she said some shit, then I said some stuff, then she said some more stuff, and I said, fuck it, I'm going for big air. I said the last shit, and next thing you know, she just came flying at me, right? Fist balled up, okay? And at first, she was just hitting me all in here, you know, which is acceptable, right? It's a holiday, let's fucking keep it nice, you know? <laughs> let's keep it nice, right? And I gotta admit, I was blocking most of it at first, right? I was doing the rope a dope. I was leaning back, I was pulling her head. A rope a dope, what is it? A rope a dope. A rope a dope is a special thing for. Uh, or what? A rope a dope. The rope a dope is a boxing fighting style commonly isolated with Muhammad Ali. Ah, it is like a near rope. Okay. Head in, I was leaning on her, talking shit, trying to tire her out, right? And then all of a sudden, she just went up top, fucking wham, it hit me right in the side of the head. You know what hurt the most was not that she hit me, was that after she hit me, she didn't have the decency to hop back, like, like maybe something was gonna happen. She knew nothing was gonna happen. It's against the rules. So not only did she get to blast me in the head, she then got to do like this UFC talking shit thing in my face, just pointing. I was brutal. Then she started like breaking up some stuff, you know, of course it was all my stuff and I'm just standing there, okay, don't look her in the eye, stand as still as you can, let her calm down. Oh, that's great, that's something mine from high school. That meant a lot to me. <laughs> evidently not to you. It's funny, if I was doing that shit, I'd have a cop with his knee in my back, but evidently you have a vagina, so that makes it okay. I just have to stand here as you break all my shit. I... I understood the whole situation of this talk. It is interesting. It was really interesting. Psycho Robots, it is uh, one of the interesting that I watched before. Arnold Schwarzenegger in this, it is uh, the most funniest uh, stand-ups of uh, Bill Burr. And uh, right now, what I watched from my experience. And uh, it was really funny because I know... Uh, I had a girlfriend and uh, no it was it wasn't a girlfriend it was 
Okay, I will not speak like it was girlfriend. I had a friend and uh, girlfriend, okay, female friend, and she was uh, trying to 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 do annoying things to me, and I didn't I didn't like them. For example, when I did something, and uh, I started to think in my mind how to answer on this question, for example, topic is about uh, football, for example. Yes, I don't like football, but topic about football, yes. And uh, she asked me, for example, for instance, again, question about football, what do you think about this team? And after that, I was trying to think in my mind that I didn't provide any sound that I'm thinking. And uh, she was uh, asking me, like, uh, well, 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 will you answer to me? But every well and every will you answer to me for me was hard. And I started to think about uh, this topic uh, again and again, again and again, again and again. And it was so, uh, Jesus, it was so annoying in some moments, but... Uh, Okay, it is good experience to learn and uh, from this talk of Psycho Robots it was interesting to know that uh, Bill Burr is uh, like me in some kind of way. I feel him and I feel my uh, part of me inside of him because I have uh, the same thing like he has to and uh, he has things like uh, he... Uh, he, he psycho inside of him and uh, I am psycho too and uh, he's talk about robots, psycho robots, uh, like the girls are robots, psycho, like da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it is funny too. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, new vocabulary I didn't learn, but no, no, I learned uh, suplex and else uh, one more from Muhammad Ropa Dope thing yes we have a new vocabulary good thanks clarification and uh, th uh, th congratulations and uh, have a nice day my dear viewer i will continue my journey of learning english bye